Hey guys, Shane here, Oz Flight Simmer. Welcome to another video. Today it is snowing, 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 and snowing. Uh, wasn't snowing when we were looking around at Montreal Airport, but now after I've done the pre flight, I'm about to push back. It is a blowing a blizzard. So today we're at a Montreal and we're flying all the way to cross the um, cross Canada from uh, east to west and we're going to land down at Vancouver. So I'm using the old shift P because um, GSX is working like a champion and decided not to work at all. But should be an interesting departure which will run through in a little second but it is a blowing so you may be curious to the reason why I'm in the PMDG 737 and not doing a test drive of a GA aircraft or something like that it's been a while between drinks probably about six months or so and generally you'll only see me do a videos of a GA aircraft but I actually do fly the tube line it's not much um, I do enjoy doing it just I don't tend to make a video so I decided to jump back in and I'll go for the reasons why shortly as we uh, continue pushing back from uh, gate 11 um, but I really needed to give myself a, uh, a refresh course because uh, when you haven't uh, flown an aircraft before it's uh, quite easy to forget uh, what you need to do so we'll go through the uh, startup procedures for engine or two and one So today's game plan is we'll be uh, taxiing all the way down to Alpha. So gate 11 is pretty much uh, sitting on top of Alpha. So we'll uh, taxi down that way. Uh, all the way down to uh, 24 left and we'll depart straight out. Um, our SID for this airport or this runway is a Vector. So we'll uh, Vector ourselves out um, on our merry way all the way up to 36,000 feet. Uh, the flight time should be just over five hours, but I'll pretty much just show you guys uh, departure and arrivals um, from Montreal into Vancouver. Mistakes will be a plentiful, as I uh, mentioned for the reasons before, as it's been a while since um, I went for a fly in this thing. But um, if you see any, please leave a comment below of anything I've done wrong, um, as it helps me to keep improving so uh, engine at number one is a spooling up and then we'll begin our taxi and um, we'll get going alrighty parking a break is off let's get this show on the road shall we so I didn't actually show you of me doing the pre-flight and programming the FMC. I actually don't like watching videos with that in there. I always skip them so I don't actually put them in mind. But if you really want to see that sort of stuff, let me know below. So we're going to go down Alpha. It'll be interesting with all this wind. So uh, reasons why uh, you're going to actually see a bit of tube aligner action on the old flight simmer channel. I've got a few aircraft sitting in my download box um, that I'll be doing reviews and first looks. So I thought well I'll use what I know and um, I'll do a bit of a refresh flight because um, some of the systems are going to be same in some of the aircrafts that I'm looking at. So. So just to give you a little bit of a taste, um, we'll be looking at the uh, Aerosoft CRJ. Yes, I know it's old, but I haven't actually got to it yet, so I'll be taking a look at that. Uh, we've got the Captain the Sim 757, so I'll be taking that for a fly. I'm a big fan of 757 aircraft, so um, 
I'm looking forward to that. And also be checking out in X-Plane 11 the uh, Fly J Sim, the 737 uh, version 3 for the 200. Looks absolutely awesome, so we'll be uh, checking that out as well. As we take a, a little outside shot there, that snow and that wind is insane. I've picked the, the best weather for a bit of a refresh flight in 737, so bound to stuff something up. But uh, how cool does that screenshot look? Even though I cannot go down the center line of the runway, that's pretty normal for me. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I will leave a link below for the Karen Ozflight Simmer giveaway. I've got three uh, $25 SIM market uh, vouchers up for grabs. All you need to do is check out the link below and it will tell you all about it. So um, might kickstart your 2018 uh, flight simming season off. But look at the snow just flowing and spraying across the taxiway. How cool does that look? About halfway down the uh, taxi now, so um, it shouldn't take long before we get out of here. So traffic I'm using today is Ultimate Traffic Live. We'll see how we go on arrivals because um, generally it's a bit of a pain in the bum. I haven't got the AI modelled uh, correctly in my personal opinion for arrivals. They sort of get in your way really. Thought I would just cut to the end of the taxi. Didn't want to put all you guys um, to sleep. So if you're coming a ride for the flight today, make sure you put your seatbelt extra tight because the weather's going to be interesting. So we'll whack the anchors on here and get ready. Alrighty, ready to line up on a runway 24 left. I do apologise, guys. I didn't really have the engine sounds up loud enough. You pretty much just can hear the... Um, the air conditioning so I do apologize for that I'll make sure I fix that up for the next flight so we'll see if I can line up but I'll be quiet for a little bit and um, I'll come back to you after we take off and I'm uh, trying to organize the um, autopilot talk to you soon So far, so good. A um, little bit wish washy, a um, couple hundred feet above the runway, but uh, everything is okay. I'm uh, just uh, vectoring myself um, through, and at this point, wondering why um, the aircraft wasn't turning, and that's because um, I made a first officer mistake. And um, oh, look at that turbulence! Um, I won't be doing drinks for a while, but I um, was wondering why the aircraft wasn't turning. But how good does that snow and that cloud effects actually look? So I'm using Active Sky 
and cloud out so are not moving to uh, wreck sky force 3d i'm going to actually stay put um, with uh, active sky but look at that that is awesome weather effects there Definitely in the thick of the cloud now. We've got um, speed is is like uh, plus five, then drops down to minus five. So making it really interesting. But we're just going to bullet through all the way through this cloud layer and get above it to get some smoother air for our passengers because uh, we want to start drinks. That's the reason why we want to do that. So um, we'll just keep uh, pushing for a long. So uh, cruising altitude is thirty six thousand all the way across um, so we're pretty much going to go uh, straight up to 36 um, as quick as we can There we go, sun is shining and we are pushing through. That was a pretty cool effect as we come through the clouds. Don't know why the snow is still pushing through, but we should get above that quite quickly. So it uh, looks like it's going to be a nice day for flying. But uh, we've been saying that. Uh, we'll have a look at some outside views. And the next time we talk, uh, I'll come back to you actually as we are up. About top of descent um, into Vancouver, so uh, I'll see you then. Welcome back to the flight deck. So as you can see, just below is the Rocky Mountains in British Columbia. So nearly uh, at our top of descent into Vancouver. So weather is obviously cloudy, slight turbulence. We should have a little bit of rain coming through the cloud cover. And um, I think we've got about 10 nautical miles um, that we can see. So uh, and it should be a little bit of sunset as we're coming in. So very a romantic approach so to speak so um, so we'll cut to uh, just about as we're gonna lock on to the ILS uh, approach into um, Vancouver Have a look at that. So that pretty much sums up um, as we arrived into Vancouver. So cloud and rain. Everything's pretty smooth, but Vancouver's put on a nice show, looking very nice. So we're very close to capturing the uh, ILS. Um, we've just gone under 20 nautical miles to go. So a little snippet of my past. I have a very fond... Um, on the heart for the city of Vancouver because I actually used to live there so did the whole um, backpacking around the world and uh, worked and stayed quite a long time in Vancouver and um, trying to spend as much time snowboarding in places like Old Whistler and uh, traveling down the road well I shouldn't really say travel down the road but um, a road trip down to Banff uh, area so um, back in the days of uh, being a little bit younger so um, a very fond heart and that's one of the reasons why I decided to uh, track all the way into uh, make this flight into uh, Vancouver
So first, a lot of flaps have just gone down, so we're getting to the a busy end. Um, so I should have two back to two videos out next week. So unfortunately, you've only had a one video um, it, uh, for the last two weeks, and that's because I've actually been working away a lot since uh, Christmas. So uh, we will get um, back to the two videos a week. So uh, sometimes the years I have to work away, so it makes it hard to record and edit a couple of videos during the week but um, so we've got a bit of a backlog because I actually wanted to have um, you know either a 757 video or a CRJ video out for you guys already uh, we'll crank in the air brake it's pretty much been on the whole time and looks like we just caught on the localizer that was pretty violent um, and the airport should be um, in sight so yeah so we'll be back on uh, two videos for next week and also we'll be announcing the winners of the uh, three $25 sim market vouchers that are available for the uh, giveaway so again uh, I'll leave a link in the description and you can check that out if you wish and I wish everybody the best of luck uh, for the comp and um, hopefully there'll be three lucky winners at the end of it. But um, that's the one of uh, many. We're actually going to do probably three or four giveaways over the um, 2018. Because I wanted to just say a big thank you um, to all you guys for all the support and taking the time out to uh, watch your videos or watch sorry watch my videos. And um, uh, hopefully it makes that time uh, worth it. just about to say the runway must be in sight soon because we just um, caught the localizer then start descending and then the uh, sim froze so it must be the airport loading uh, loading in so um, I'm going to pretty much ride it all the way down to about 800 feet because um, it's been a while since I've flown this aircraft so we'll, we'll cheat a little bit we'll go down about 800 feet take the autopilot off um, and then we'll fly it down through to the end of the runway. But um, we're going to be quiet now. And I'll come back to you just as we are taxiing off the runway. Or taxi down the runway. And I'll talk to you soon.
100. 50. 30. 20. 10. There we go, so um, I landed off to the right a little bit, floated um, a little bit as well, but I'll take that. And if anybody's wondering why I held the reverses a little bit longer, that's because I've actually got no uh, toe brakes left on uh, my rudder pedals. The SciTech, actually I've got it on the left, but I don't have the right. The right pedal is uh, broken, so um, I'm just making do while I'm waiting for my new pedals uh, Arrive. So, at this time, normally I would um, taxi off the runway and uh, show you a replay, but that didn't happen because Chase Plane and um, Prepared were not working well together, and it basically just broke the sim. So, lucky I did a save point and loaded back in to continue taxiing. So, unfortunately, you're not going to see a replay, and I was really disappointed. So. Uh, Apologies uh, for that. So we'll cut it here and um, we'll come back as we're cleaning up the aircraft. So thank you very much for coming for a ride of this refresh uh, flight of mine uh, for the PMD G737. If this is something you want to see more on the channel, please let me know. I'm quite happy to do requests or... Um, do some more flights in uh, some of the uh, heavy aircraft just let us know in the comments uh, again thank you very much if you're new to the channel this is the first video I've seen uh, please hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button if you want to see more of the videos if I can actually stay on the center line while I'm cleaning the aircraft up um, that's pretty, pretty hilarious at the moment uh, that would be very much appreciated and why don't you say hello in the comments um, I pretty much get back to everyone and it is great to hear from you all. So we've been saying that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And have an awesome day. Cheers. Goodbye.